Jen. All right, Kristen, thanks so much. Well, the Food and Drug Administration signed off on the updated COVID boosters from Pfizer and Moderna. And joining us today is pharmacist and director of clinical services at Martin's Wellness and Compounding Pharmacies, Angela Solis. Angela, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me here. Okay, you know, this morning we were trying to, working to set up your interview and we were wondering if the FDA would give the green light to the new boosters. It has happened. When though do we expect those boosters to be on store shelves and do we know a cost range yet for the boosters? It's likely to be at least next week before they actually end up on store shelves. The FDA signed off on them today, but there's two more steps in the approval process before they're released by the manufacturer. First, um, a CDC subcommittee has to approve and make recommendations on who's the most important people to get the vaccine, and then the CDC director has to sign off. Only then are the manufacturers allowed to ship the vaccine to pharmacies. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, so anyone age five and older we know can get an updated booster shot. When exactly, though, should people get that booster, especially if they have been vaccinated? So if they've been vaccinated before, early guidance looks like the recommendation of coming out of the CDC might be to wait at least two months since the last shot the patient got. Um, and the CDC will also, the FDA decides who can get the vaccine, but CDC decides who should get the vaccine. So it'll be very interesting to see what comes out of CDC in the next couple of days. They might recommend older people, for example, or infants as having higher priority than other people, or they might give a blanket okay and say everyone should get the new vaccine. Okay, okay, so it's a wait and see for sure. So FDA did ask the drug makers to formulate the fall boosters to really target a specific subvariant. Do we know how effective this will be, especially since we've seen kind of a surge in recent months with COVID-19? Well, the XBB 1.5 variant is what this targets. This is an entirely new vaccine. It's different than any COVID vaccine any of you have ever gotten before. It targets specifically that variant, and it's quite effective against that variant. However, the newest variant that is the most widespread in the United States now is the EG.5 variant. And early indications are that it's also quite effective against that variant and another additional variant that's still not very prevalent. So we have high hopes that it will be um, effective, highly effective against the current circulating strains. Okay, Angela Solis, thank you so much. And I know at Martin's Wellness and Compounding Pharmacies, you all anticipate having those booster shots as soon as they're completely approved. We do, we've got them pre-ordered. So as soon as the CDC gives the go ahead to ship, We'll be getting our shipment. We hope to have them by next week, potentially. Okay, Angela Solis, again, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you. Rescuers raced against time to.